Good afternoon, everybody. This is Burrell Ives, the Tasca County Board of Commissioners. Uh, today is uh, Tuesday, February 9th, and we had a regular session uh, meeting here today. Uh, you know, we went through 13 items uh, on our consent agenda. A couple of them were new. Uh, one of the consent agenda uh, items was uh, uh, hiring another RN to help with vaccinations. Uh, this is on a only when needed uh, purpose. And then the other thing would be we uh, agreed to do a resolution supporting the city of Grand Rapids with an LRIP grant program for a proposed project on the 21st Street Southwest. We have gotten into numerous uh, uh, those programs with, uh, we went and went with Harris Township. We did one, uh, I want to say, with Sago Township, I think the city of Wabana, or excuse me, the city of Warba. Um, so we've done numerous of them lately. Um, in our regular board uh, agenda, uh, we had no citizen input today. Um, our warrants, uh, we had $650,000 and some change. I will tell you that a lot of our warrants this time was for, you know, sand and gravel. Um, we've had, uh, you know, you're buying, buying salt and sand. Uh, for a lot of things here lately, um, in in gas and oil for our our uh, vehicles that we're maintaining our roads with. Um, next item on the uh, on the uh, agenda was employee expense. Uh, this is where uh, one of our commissioners got paid for his time and mileage, um, and that passed. Uh, the next thing was a uh, health and human services came and gave us a COVID-19 update. Um, I'll just read a couple of things here about the COVID-19 update. Uh, as of today, on the 9th, uh, newly infected, uh, uh, newly identified positives in the last seven days was 51. Uh, in the past 14 days was 93 people. 14 day case rate per 10,000 as of 2-6, 2021 was 19.3 people. The last, last week we were at 15 people. Uh, we have increased uh, uh, this case this week uh, in Atasca County. You know, vaccines, um, you know, type one, doses that have been given already uh, is 5,422 Atasca residents. Um, of Atasca County, the entire vaccines have been completed. That means dose one and two. That was 1,492 people have done that. Uh, percentage of Atasca County residents that have received the type one dose, we're at 12%. Uh, Tasca County Public Health, uh, doses, uh, dose one, we're at 1,064, and dose two, uh, we're at 150. So we have some more to go there. Um, you know, right now, I would tell you that uh, Tasca County has, um, and Kelly Chandler and, and uh, Public Health are very in tune to what uh, is coming, and they are planning on uh, getting ready for the plus 65 and plus 75 to have their shots that more to come there uh, we are talking about how to um, communicate with people who don't have great internet uh, my understanding is the department of health and and Atasca county health and human services are working on how to get that job done uh, so thank you kelly for a good update uh, next thing that we had uh, was transportation, was unorganized township gravel surface projects. Um, so this is a situation where we have um, a balsam, Big Fork, Deer River, and, and then the unorganized area where we need to upgrade some uh, gravel roads. And 
Uh, and in these areas where we need to fix some of these gravel roads, they don't have really good gravel. So we are going to uh, get some gravel from other places in the county and bring them up there. And we're going to do a site selection. We're going to do 35 miles of dirt road, basically a three to four inch lift on all of them. Um, you know, we have 735 miles of dirt road. These roads are heavily used. And uh, so with that in mind, uh, we are still going to have other road projects going on, but there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, at least seven, at least seven roads are going to get a major overhaul this year. How's that? And then our final uh, thing that we had, uh, we had an eminent domain on uh, Casa 52. This is a very small piece of uh, right of way that we've had a uh, situation happen here, very unusual, but <clears throat> the people who owned the piece of property um, have passed away. They had eight children. Uh, so out of the eight children, three of those have passed away and the five remaining children that are alive, we have signed and we have gotten the easement with them. But the three that passed, they have multiple kids and we're having a super duper hard time trying to find these people. Um, and we are trying to do a, a, a situation there on Casa 52 where uh, upgrading and doing uh, some road uh, things that we, we have to keep moving on with time. So that did pass, just to allow you, everybody to understand, very unique situation. Um, some of the commissioner comments, um, I would just tell you, uh, I thought that uh, IDC gave a, a nice presentation and I'm just gonna tell you, I thought Terry and uh, Mr. Danucci and Mr. Snyder did a wonderful job representing Atasca County and their businesses, telling the story about economics uh, uh, and, and what COVID has done uh, and what we've been doing for our communities and our people and our businesses here in Itasca County, especially during COVID time and with our CARES Act money. Uh, so I will tell you that 71 or 76 percent of the CARES Act money that we received as a county went back in the hands of small businesses uh, here in Itasca County to help them survive. And I will I just I will tell you that talking to other, you know, economic development corporations around the state, we are very unique. Uh, we gave, we took it in and we gave it back out, which there's a bunch of counties that didn't do that. So uh, kudos to uh, my other commissioners and kudos to the people uh, at IEDC for helping and helping us uh, find things uh, and to find the right people in the businesses. Um, you know what, the other thing about Commissioner Comments was uh, we'd like to have a, our legislative updates starting. Now is the time uh, uh, in case there's anything that needs to uh, uh, come before them. We need to talk to them here before the, the season ends. So we've always been in contact with them all the time, but uh, we're going to ask for a little bit of an update quick and fast here. So with that, that kind of wraps up what we talked about today. Everybody, please be safe. Stay warm. Thank you.